Today I'm going to be testing a microwave transformer. If you are unsure of how to remove a microwave transformer, please follow all safety suggestions. I have not gone over any of those in this video. Please be safe. When removing your transformer, there is the possibility of electrocution and people have been known to actually die. So if you are unsure of how to remove the transformer, please allow a professional to do this. Hopefully you enjoy my video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. Before you take your transformer out, it's going to be wise to mark all of your leads. Make sure you know where they're going um, before you remove your transformer so you know what gets connected back to what. Today I'm going to be showing you how to test a high voltage transformer such as the one right here. I'll be using my multimeter. Um, if you look, you can see the coiling on these. The primary has got the thicker wire. Um, it's a high or a lower gauge wire, so it's thicker than the secondary, which is the high voltage. So what we're going to do, the first thing we'll do is we will test the resistance. So we're going to set our multimeter to 200. And I will... touch both ends and we should get a reading of somewhere between a half and one and a half should be less than two here I'm getting 1.3 so that's good the next thing we want to do is make sure that it's not shorting out to the block so I'm going to turn mine all the way up and what we'll have to do is find a spot on here because as you can see right here nothing's happening um, this has a coating over it, so we have to find a spot, and typically on these, there's usually a mark just from taking it out um, on here. So here I found some bare metal, and you can see I can get a reading touching the sides here, so that's not coated there. So now I'm going to touch these terminals, and as you can see, when I'm touching the terminals, I'm not getting a reading. So it is not shorted out. So that check is good. So next what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. And you can see in between, we can see these red wires. So we're going to test those. And we're going to test those the same way that we just tested the primary on the other side. So I'm going to set this. And I'm going to set it at 200. And then I'm going to come and touch these two terminals and I should be getting that reading so this one's coming in at 0 0.8, 0 0.7 so that's good and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to turn this up to 200 or 2000 and I'm going to find a spot so I can see when I'm doing this, I can see on my multimeter that we're getting a reading. So again, I'm going to stick a probe in here, keep the other one on the block, and I should not get any reading, and I'm not getting a reading. Again, I'm going to make sure, there we go, and then I'm going to do it to the other one as well and then I'm not getting a reading. So that's telling me that this is not shorting out to the block. So last what we're going to do is we're going to test the high voltage and that's that little bit finer wire. It's usually here, it's on the top, you can see. Um, you can see that lead on this one, it's coming directly out of that winding. So what we're going to do to test this one is we're going to set our multimeter to the 200 ohm range and I should get a reading somewhere between say 80 and 120, 85, 120, somewhere in that range. So again I want to make sure, I'm going to test this to the body here and I'm going to try to find a spot okay so 
Right now I know, again, I'm getting a reading here, so I know that this is a bare spot, so this is going to run my lead directly to the body and not be interfered with by that coating. So again, I'm going to touch this, and on this one I'm getting a reading of 120, so that's just fitting in that range that I want. So this is a working transformer. And that's how you test your transformer. Hopefully you enjoyed the video I made for you today. If it was relevant for you, please hit the like and subscribe button. Also feel free to post any comments in the comment section below. Thanks and have a great day.